channel in today's video we have our monthly favorites i'm so excited to bring to you guys my favorite tour this month because i feel like they're all over the place if you guys would like to know what i was loving this month and how i am so enthralled that it is finally spring please keep watching okay you guys so as you can see i'm sporting a new look uh, a few videos ago you guys would have seen that i did actually get my hair cut i got a relaxer i cut the bob again miss lorena bobbit is back honey and i can't get enough I love having a bob. I've always had long hair. Um, it's been like from here to halfway down my back. And I never thought I would get to a point in my life where I'm loving short hair. I think when you are just growing and enjoying your femininity and just aging gracefully, you just realize that you can pull off any haircut. And I truly feel most beautiful with short hair. I never thought I would ever be saying that because I have never wanted short hair but uh, the bob is definitely here to stay so I'm really loving my cut um, I'll also link this top down below it is coming in an upcoming H&M haul wink wink hint hint so let's get right in I'm going to start with fragrance I have one fragrance to share with you guys and it is none other than Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal I actually received this fragrance for Valentine's Day. Now I was a little indifferent when I first received it because while I do like this fragrance, I thought it was gonna be something different. I wanted it and I asked for it for Valentine's Day because people described it as being ganky, sexy, sweet. And you guys know I am all about a sexy scent. Now as far as being skanky, I guess they meant just because of the honey notes. It is a little scandalous. I don't know how skanky and dirty I wanted her to be. She's not too skanky, but the only way that I really enjoyed wearing this scent is to bed. But um, I love this scent, it's deep, it smells like honey. It almost reminds me of Paco Rabanne's Olympia with a little more sweetness to it. It is beautiful, but not what I expected. But I love wearing it to bed because it heats up nicely with the warmth of my body. And when I wake up the next morning, I'm just like so happy and I love the way it smells. So Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, I'm loving it. But I'm not loving it how I thought I would. But to bed, she's a keeper. Okay, so that's the only fragrance I had. Let's get into skincare. I have a fair amount to share with you guys. First up is a product that I believe I spoke about last month. This is the Lather Advanced Blemish Control Serum. Now, if you guys have been following me for the past year, you would know that I have been battling severe maskne, okay? Now, I'm someone who always dealt with a lot of acne as an adult. I have adult acne, but maskne has ruined or has tried to ruin my skin the past year. I'm gonna insert a picture of what my face looked like a year ago today. It was night and day. And the only thing that has changed in the past year is having to wear a mask. All of my breakouts are concentrated around my cheeks and my chin area it's not because of hormonal reasons though I do have hormonal acne it is from wearing that damn mask no matter which mask I wear my silk mask from slip is the most gentle on my face but whatever I'm putting on my face it's rubbing the bacteria that's supposed to be purging through my skin back into my pores thus causing maskne I'm gonna be doing a complete video about maskne because a lot of women DM me email me because they just want to know what they can do to treat it I've kind of reached the place where I'm just like F it I'm not stopping wearing my mask so the only thing left to do is treat it this is fabulous the number one reason why I love this is it's lightweight it's a serum it contains salicylic acid previously I was using something with benzoyl peroxide that was really really thick so I can only use it at night so I love the fact that I can use this during the day it is almost empty okay that's how much I love it I will link the video I did down below in collaboration with lather just because I'm sent products for review does not mean I have to love them but the fact that I'm almost out of this and have already purchased the backup, this is a favorite. I use it all over my face now because not only do I wanna just treat the areas that are breaking out, I want to treat all the areas of my face. So definitely, definitely loving that. Okay, the next product that I have been obsessed with is my Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum. 
So I also did a video in collaboration with Skin Store and Sunday Riley a few months ago and I will link that down below. This is my favorite product from the entire set. I have never found a vitamin C that has brightened my skin so well. I took a photo this morning and I'll pop it up on the screen. My skin looked so brightened and clear. Like I said, I still do deal with my fair amount of mask me and hormonal acne, but this has really helped to brighten the tone and also the texture, like improve the texture of my skin. The only thing is this product is super, super expensive on its own. We're gonna talk about that next month. I'm gonna be doing a review of all those products as well as an empties video, but this is amazing. I love the texture. The first time I used it, my skin felt so smooth. I love the way this feels on my skin. It has 15% vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of my golden holy grail ingredients. It's great for brightening, luminosity, and it's also great for use as a protectant against the damaging rays of the sun. Once again, you want to use a sunscreen in combination with this, but it's a great antioxidant um, ingredient. Love it. Okay, next up, Tend Skin. I spoke about this this past month in an Amazon Favorites video, which I will link down below. This is my favorite for treating ingrown hairs or any razor bumps or anything like that. So I always talk about my guy friend who put me on to this. I always go to him when I'm looking for treatments and anything because he just... He's amazing, he's into skincare like I am, so I always know I can trust his recommendations. Anywhere I remove hair, I like to follow it up with this solution if I'm experiencing any ingrown hairs or any razor bumps or anything like that. It gets your skin smooth and soft and it exfoliates it really, really quickly. I love this solution, it's like magic. It has very minimal ingredients, but it is everything. The next product that I've been loving is also by Lather and this is their Honey Moisture Mask with Propolis Extract. Okay, so like I spoke about, I've been dealing with mask me all the time. It's like every day or every other day I have a new breakout. So because I've been using so much blemish control serum, which really tends to dry out your skin because the salicylic acid gets deep into your pores to really purge anything out. It can be quite drying. This Honey Moisture Mask is amazing. I used it um, for the first time a few weeks ago and I have been loving it. It's a more lightweight mask. I really like that you can leave it on, so this will be great to use overnight. It kind of reminds me of the Kiehl's Overnight Hydrating Mask. It might be a little cheaper, but I've really been enjoying this. You leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you rub any excess products in. It's really awesome for hydration. It has honey that's moisturizing and propolis, which is soothing. When you finish using this treatment, your skin is going to feel so soft and hydrated. This is everything, I promise you guys. If you have really dry skin, you're gonna love this. Now this product is not for your skin, but it's for your gums and your teeth. So I'm including it in this section. These are my Oral-B floss picks, uh, the Oral-B Glide, which is the only floss that I trust with my teeth. Now I know you guys are thinking like, girl, why the hell are you showing floss picks? I shared these on my Instagram because I picked them up at Target probably the middle of March and I've really been loving these. I am someone who's obsessive. Like you guys know, I'm OCD. I probably have OCPD. I need to look back through my DSM, but I am obsessive about flossing. I like to keep floss in my bag, at my desk, at my vanity, in the car, in the kitchen. Like, I hate the feeling of things stuck in my teeth, specifically because I have some crowding on the top. Flossing is really essential. I think flossing is probably more important than brushing your teeth because you don't want to have gingivitis or any type of gum disease or inflammation. So this is amazing. The Oral-B Glide is the best floss ever because it's not, it's like thin and wide, so it's really cushiony. It doesn't feel bad on your teeth. I decided to pick this up because I have crowding, like I said. Oh, you wanna smell it, baby? I have crowding on my teeth, and so this really helps to get in between the tight teeth on the top row, and I love it. It also has this little pick at the bottom, which is great for getting my lower row. <sighs> I am really winded today. I've really been enjoying these. A nice little hygiene tip. These are great to keep with you if you're gonna be on the go, just pop a little in your bag in a little plastic bag. Um, I just, they make your breath feel fresh because they do have scope on them. Amazing. Uh, so Next, let's get into makeup. The first two items I wanna talk about, I don't feel like getting, but I will pop pictures on the screen, and I'm actually wearing one of them today. It is my Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara and Liner. 
you guys oh my goodness so you know that I'm a buy ambassador which means every month they send me products to try out and share them with my audience if I choose to I don't have to but of course it's nice to because that's what they're sending me products for I am obsessed so I've always loved Bite for years, dating back to when I was working at Sephora. I went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in New York City and I made a custom shade of lipstick. Like they had the best formulations of lip products. Super, super hydrating, but they recently came out with eye products. They have foundation and their eyeliner is amazing. I will link the Get Ready With Me video where I demonstrated how easy it is to use. I have not used liquid eyeliner in some years, but it was so easy to use and I was really, really shocked. I also really have been enjoying their mascara. Now, I first spoke about this mascara maybe two or three months ago, but I was interchanging it with my Lancome Monster Big. Gone are the days of using my Lancome mascara. That Bite Beauty Upswing just gives me such a beautiful, like doe-eyed look. I have traditional Asian lashes and I am not shading anybody by saying that because I'm part Asian. But they are short, they are straight, they do nothing for my eyes. It takes a really good mascara for me to have really nice lashes. All of my favorites on Instagram were talking about how much they loved it. I tried it out, I loved it, but I kept going back to Lancome. Not anymore. That mascara is my absolute favorite and I will always be repurchasing it because it is bomb. So check it out if you're looking for a new mascara and you have lashes like myself, which do nothing for you. Whew. Let me get some water. I don't know what's going on. Okay. My other favorite beauty item currently is my Becca, what is this called? Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Amber. So recently I signed up for Octoly, which is an amazing website which helps influencers and vloggers and bloggers partner with different brands to try out products to recommend to their audience. And I signed up because I felt it would be awesome for me to have some new content to put on my Instagram because I'm trying to switch it up a little bit and not just post so many of my same things favorite so I'm getting to try out a lot of items one thing I was recently sent is this Becca foundation it is also linked in that get ready with me this is what I'm wearing today it is what I've been wearing all month the coverage is amazing you guys it's really thick it has nice full coverage so if you don't like a mattified full coverage glam thicker foundation you will not like this but for someone like myself who's been battling so much melasma hyperpigmentation this year this has been amazing um, it's the perfect match for me I'm about a long comb 450 neutral or around a MAC NC44, NARS Tahoe, I am obsessed. The unfortunate thing is that Becca is going out of business and I'm really sad about that, but while they are still in operation until September, I will be trying as many new products as I can and stocking up on all my favorites. So this is the foundation that I've been using for the past month and I can't get enough of it. Through Octoly, I was also able to try magnetic lashes and you guys, this is what I'm wearing today. Can you believe it? Like magnetic lashes. So you guys know that many, many years ago, I used to be really into lashes, probably just two years ago. And then quarantine hit and I wasn't going anywhere. And I was like, why should I be wasting my time applying a lash? I definitely go through phases where I like lashes and these are a game changer, you guys. So once again, I was sent these through Octoly. These are the Eyelore London Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. And I received a couple variations. I have Faux Mink Volume, which are these. Faux Mink Wispy, which is what I have on today. And the third variety is called Faux Mink Accents. And these are more of like a little half lash. You guys, these are so good. So I wanted to try out magnetic lashes because I think it's a great concept. For those of you guys who may have a little difficulty applying a lash, this is going to be your best friend. All you need to know how to do is apply liquid eyeliner and it was so easy, they popped right on. Each lash can be used up to 15 times, which is amazing. I believe they are a little more expensive than your traditional lash, but if you have problems applying them, you're gonna wanna invest in these. I'll be doing a complete review on my Instagram as part of my collaboration with Octoly, but I'm someone who knows how to apply a false lash and I will be wearing these because they're just so easy to apply. I also think cleanup is gonna be a lot better because you don't have to work with any glue. 
I need to look up the science behind this. There's definitely some type of magnetic adhesion on the other side of the lash band, but these are a game changer. So I will link these down below. This video is not being sponsored by Optoly, but stay tuned to my Instagram post because I'll be detailing my tips and tricks and how I like them and all that jazz. But like I said, if you have trouble applying a false lash, they're gonna be your bestie. Okay, another skincare item I forgot to talk about was my at-home waxing kit, and this is by Tress Wellness. I actually used it last night. I will link the video I did down below, Amazon Favorites video where I spoke in detail about this. I go to get waxed, but I just wanna be able to save a little money. So, I started doing at-home waxing. It's super simple. This kit actually comes with a waxing guide. It comes with gloves. It comes with maybe five or six different waxing beads, the popsicle stick things. It is really, really easy to use. I was afraid at first, but it comes with a waxing guide. Definitely read it because you wanna know the best way to apply the wax and also remove it, as well as the correct temperature. I use mine at about 190. After toying with different uh, temperature variants, I found that 190 works best for me. I have to wax myself like once a week, sometimes depending on the area of my body that I'm waxing. Now, I have not conquered the Brazilian and I don't think I ever will because who wants to be doing all those gymnastics? Not myself. But for the other areas of my body, I might be transitioned to waxing at home. Um, I've pretty much tried every other area of my body. Underarm hurt the worst. I I was screaming, but I think it's something I can definitely get used to and it can help save so much money. You guys know I'm all about a DIY beauty treatment. I do my own gel nails at home. I just would like to have my coins for shopping. So definitely check out the at-home waxing kit and give it a try. Okay, let's do fashion next. The first item I wanna talk about is the bag that I have been using probably for the past year really, really consistently. This is my Louis Vuitton bum bag in the monogram print. I take this bag out every day. <laughs> so I know I've been doing a fair amount of Chanel unboxings this year and I decided to take the plunge because last year I wasn't indulging in too much luxury just because I was trying to be more conscious of my spending and I thought the pandemic would end. <laughs> And now here we are. But this year, I'm just like, girl, treat yourself. Like I said in the last Chanel unboxing, buy the damn bag, like who cares? And if I want to buy a new bag every month, that's what I'm going to do. So I may or may not have another unboxing coming up next month, but the one bag that has been a consistent staple is my Louis Vuitton bum bag. It is just so effortless. I do wear it across my, like across my chest, but more often than not, I wear it around my waist. It is just so, easy and effortless to wear. I also like that it doesn't have to be touching anything. I just don't want any germs on my bag. So this has been a staple. A lot of plus size ladies ask me if this bag is plus size friendly and it is. I might do a review of this bag in the summertime. It is definitely the bag that I carry nine times out of 10. I will only use my other cuter bags like if I'm going somewhere special, which rarely happens or if I just wanna look cute. But traditionally, this is the bag I use and I wear it all the time. Okay. Fashion. First, I want to talk about a pair of pajamas. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, you would have seen these pajamas. I had a picture in them. I posted um, my Target haul when I purchased them. I will insert a picture on the screen of what the pajamas actually look like because it'll be kind of hard to show them. But it's a short set. And this is what the top looks like. I'm a size 16. Now I may look a lot bigger than like a size 16, but I'm not that tall you guys yeah I take a size extra large I think they go up to a plus size 3x so depending on what size you wear you should be able to wear these pajamas so this is an extra large out of the regular size range I love these these are really comparable to the Nordstrom moonlight pajamas which are my all-time favorite but they do run about $50 a pop these I think were around 25 I had a Target gift card shout out to my girl Chloe I finally <laughs> used my gift card um, I just want it like a nice little pick me up and I wanted something really cute to lounge around the house in so I picked these pajamas up from Target they're from the brand stars above which I adore I also picked up a stars above robe but I won't really be able to show that too well so I'll insert a picture on the screen I picked that up in a size extra large 
large slash extra extra large that's the only like size it came in love that robe oh it is so soft it has a tiny bit of stretch to it it fits well but i would say if you're over like a 16 18 you probably won't be able to wear it i'm not sure if that one comes in plus sizes but stars above is my favorite brand of pajamas behind nordstrom's moonlight pajamas love 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 them. let's be honest this top I threw on for the video, okay? I went out today and all I wear is loungewear because it's comfortable and I do work out daily. So, you guys know I work with Yvette Sports probably every other month, more consistently now I've been doing it monthly and I don't just talk about these items because I'm sponsored to do so. I love them for real. So recently um, they sent out their sustainable high waist leggings. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are the softest high support leggings I've ever tried. I've put so many of my girls on them and they're always sending me videos on Instagram. I'm sure you guys know by now, I'm not just gonna say something is good because I'm being paid to say it. I live in these so much that I actually, oh, it's not right here. I went online and purchased with my own coins a pair of these sustainable leggings in the color black to wear them as regular leggings because that's how amazing they are. They are a full length legging. I take the size 2XL. Yvette Sports is a Chinese based brand. So in my experience, they run a bit small, but a 2XL fits me and I've seen women that are smaller than me wear a 2XL and women that are larger than me. Obviously they're workout pants, so they definitely do stretch if you want a comfortable high support legging this is your go-to and I also love that they're sustainable they're made of 75% recycled polyester I'm really trying to get more into recycled materials and just be more conscious of the materials that I'm using and I just feel like anything I can do to help preserve our planet is great it only helps that these leggings are so amazing and you know I love them because they are colored and if you know anything about me this is outside the box I love black. <laughs> the fact that I wear orange or like a burnt sienna legging, yeah. <laughs> These are my favorite. So I now have them in burnt sienna and in black. The next thing I've been loving from Yvette Sports, I actually received this past month and you guys loved it when I posted it on Instagram. It is this cobalt blue sports bra. You guys. This is my favorite, but it features a crisscross back detail. I will post a picture on the screen of what it looks like on me. Like I said, this is outside the box for me because I love black, but how gorgeous is this color blue? It also has this not mesh detailing, but it's very breathable, non-removable cups, which I like because the removable ones get all scrunched up. I really love this sports bra. I got this in a size 3XL D through F or 3XL plus. Once again, Yvette Sports runs small for me traditionally. I wear a 38 double G in UK sizing, but this fits really well. It's really comfortable, it's not tight. I could probably take a 2XL, but I'd rather be on the conservative side. Honestly, I don't even wear real bras anymore. All I wear are my sports bras because I'm in the house. I don't go into the office. I'm not really hanging out. And these bras are so comfortable. They're also supportive. This is a high support bra and it just comes up really high on the side. I've lost about 50 pounds, so I have loose skin. This just helps me look and feel my best. And the last item I've been living in and loving, my Yvette Sports Tanks, and I believe these are called the Cozy Tank. This is what it looks like. It comes in a three pack. I got this in a size 2XL. Now I will say these come very low on the side. Like I said, I have a lot of side fat here because I have lost a considerable amount of weight, but the amazing thing is these sports bras come up really high on the side, so I'm never hanging out of these tops. Like you can see, they are extremely lightweight, which is perfect when I'm working out outside, so I'm really enjoying that as well. Okay, two more things I wanna talk about. The first are these beautiful pair of diamond stud earrings. Let me get closer. So I received these from the BF for Valentine's Day. Um, I am obsessed, you guys. You guys know that I love a stud earring, so I was just so grateful and happy and just felt amazing that I actually received a pair of diamond stud earrings. I haven't worn diamond studs since I was probably 
13 or 16 when my aunt gave me a pair and I love these. I've been wearing them ever since. So if you're wondering, yes, these are new and I'm obsessed. So thank you so much. I really appreciate them. The last thing I want to talk about, well, I have one more I like. This tripod, okay, and I'm going to lower it. So if you've been following me on Instagram, which I hope you are, you will know that I'm pretty much a real queen. And I'm not meaning like, oh, I'm a queen. No, R-E-E-L-S. I love reels on Instagram. I'm really tapping into my creativity and I'm enjoying it. Every Friday for Fun Friday, I post a new reel and you guys have been enjoying them. I'm loving them. It's just so fun. I try to do one informative one and the next week something really fun. Just so you guys get to see more of my personality. Um, I did stop vlogging on my channel. So a lot of you guys who weren't following me back then, you just may not know like more about me or maybe you want to know more about me follow me on Instagram you get to see a little taste of my life and a little dose of my personality every Friday so this tripod has really come in handy it extends to about six feet and you can put your phone on it so I use this to film all my reels I love it I use it to take my Instagram pictures now sometimes I have somebody with me and he will take my pictures but uh, other times I like to take them myself and this works fabulously I actually took the event sports post in the blue sports bra with this tripod it's just so easy so this has been a game changer if you are a content creator if you are a blogger or a blogger you're gonna love something like this um, it's not the best for use of like close-up things on a table I would get a tabletop tripod which I do have and I will link this down below. But for things like photos outside and such, this is amazing. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is a food item. See Popeye's fish sandwich. And you guys, I have been obsessed. Every Friday I go get one. Now, let me tell you, I have never had a fish sandwich before I tried the Popeye's one. And I believe I tried it at the beginning of this month or at the end of last month because my girl Coco McQueen, I will link her channel down below, I adore her. She put us on and they're so good. They're lightly battered. They're not as battered as the Popeye's chicken sandwich. They are a little Cajun spice, but not like super spicy like the spicy chicken sandwich. I'm obsessed. Check out that if you have not. <sighs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I will see you guys next month. Bye.